Viva Russia, Viva Russia, Russia. It's now illegal to criticize the state. Or a bill is being passed to see if that if they can make that happen. Vladimir Putin, the evil dictator of Russia, is about to sign a law, sign in a bill into law that makes criticizing the state on social media illegal. Wow. So we get something to be, you know, grateful for. At least we're American. We we still have our freedom of speech, even if they demonetize you, even if they pull the plug on your account, even if they 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 call you a commie socialist and a racist and a bigot and every other fucking thing that people come up with, right? There's still you still can speak, right? I'm st- we're still here, right? Some of us are still here. So new Russian bill introduces punishment for insulting state. Ah, Vladimir. Vladimir Putin, ah, the Russian. He stole our election, didn't he? <laughs> so there's Vladimir Putin. Moscow, Russian lawmakers passed legislation Thursday that imposes restrictions on online media and criminalizes anyone who insults state. Whoa, this is heavy, man. This is this is bad news for Russia, man. I can't believe they're getting away with this shit. You know? I should put on a yellow vest and get out in the street and protest this one. This is bad news. The bill introduces fines for publishing material showing disrespect to the state, its symbols, and government organs. What kind of organs? Like like fucking human organs? Repeat offenders could face 15 days jail sentence. Wow. Decrim- making, making s- What is disrespect to the state? Saying I don't like the state? That's disrespectful? Fuck you, state? State, fuck you. You know, that's disrespectful? Or is that speech right well we have we have one up here at least we have free speech but the problem is that no one that the laws have been switched in a way that no one really cares right and the smear campaigns right the smear campaign we have smear you you say something and we have the cia we we spend billions of dollars taxpayer money to smear you to make you the bad guy and make them look like the good guy but in Russia, they're just going to say, fuck it, just throw him in jail. Fuck it, man. You speak up, boom, jail. The bill will introduce fines for publishing materials showing disrespect to the state. Oh, I just read that. The Kremlin-controlled lower house, the state Duma, uh, approved the bill in the final third reading. It, was, it also endorsed a separate bill that will block anyone publishing fake news online that is perceived to threaten public health and security. What is what is fake news, right? I think Russia's, you know, digging them digging a grave here. This is bad. The bills are expected to quickly pass in the upper house before President Vladimir Putin signs them into law. So it's going to happen. Critics see the legislation as part of Kremlin's effort to stifle criticism and tighten control. <laughs> of course, <laughs> what else is it? It's to stifle criticism, shut them up. If you criticize us, you go to jail. During Thursday's debate, communist lawmaker Alex K. warned that the authorities could use the fake news bill to punish critics. Right. That's the, that's the idea of a free media, free press, free speech. That if you make it illegal and you give the lawmakers, the, give the lawmakers discretion to uh, you know, invoke law on others... People that criticize them, of course, it's 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 uh, you know it's you're giving them authority. You are giving them authority by nature. You're giving them the law to to to. That's the authority, right? So um, anyway, uh, fight lies that lead to revolution. Oh, the ultra nationalist uh, leader Vladimir Zhirzhaza spoke about the need to fight lies that lead to revolutions and wars but added that the fraction uh, wouldn't support what he described as insufficient prepared legislation. Fight lies that lead to revolutions and wars. You mean, well, the wars part is comes after the revolution, but to, to f- fight lie, what is a lie, right? I mean, it's, it's so gray and so bad. The bill bans the spread of unreliable, socially important information. <laughs> Let me read that again. Unreliable, socially important information that, quote, could 
engage lives in public health, raise the threat of massive violations of public security in order in and order or impede functioning of transport and social infrastructure, energy and communication facilities and banks. Ah, banks. Uh, so enough of this. Right? So th- this is a no-brainer, right? What Russia is doing is wrong. It's a mistake. They're throwing their people into the fucking stone, stone age. They're going backwards, right? Speech, free speech doesn't hurt. Free speech, what is free speech? Free speech is good. It's, it's cleansing. It's let the, let the, let the power of the, the words, one person's truth. And if it's not true, it, it's like a fart in the wind. Poof, it fades. It fades. Lies, lies can't stand in the, in the, in the grip of truth. When there's truth, no lie can sustain it, right? But if you are not the truth, then, then truth in your face causes you to crumble. The power of truth, the power of the spoken word is what, what certainly, certainly what we should defend as Americans, right? That's, that's the essence of the American way, right? And we have that in our First Amendment. Thank God we have it in our First Amendment. And we should fight every day to keep it there and defend it. Defend free speech, even, even if we don't agree with it. Marcus Conti reporting.